Fred Walters did everything you'd expect a pioneer to do, except maybe drive a covered wagon. Fred's done it all. He was the editor on duty the day at the very instant when KYW launched its all-news operation. This is KYW News Radio. I'm Steve Porter, your editor, Fred Walters. Fred later became chief of the Westinghouse News Bureau in Harrisburg. Fred eventually returned to KYW as its news director and later executive editor leading the nation to its number one rating. Fred, congratulations on this wonderful recognition from the broadcast pioneers of Philadelphia. You are, in fact, the reason I am doing what I do today. You are the inspiration, the mentor, the teacher, the person who taught me the foundations of journalism all those years ago at KYW News Radio. First as our news director and then as executive editor, you always had my back without even telling me you didn't even tell me when I was under fire, and you were the circuit breaker, protecting all of us, in fact, from political pressure and from threats, even threats I learned about years later. You hired the right people. You created the team, a team best exemplified on Reporters' Roundtable every afternoon. It was you, Fred, who gave us the license to go anywhere and pursue any story. It was you who set an example of journalism as a public service. It's an example all of us try to follow, even if we rarely match your high standard. It was you who first sent me to cover the national political conventions back in Miami in 1972, whetting my appetite for decades of following presidential candidates. Fred, thank you for launching me on my dreams. Thank you for launching me on this incredible journey. I know you are always out there as my touchstone for when I do well and those times when I don't. In my mind, you will always be my executive editor. Following that success, he served at stations in New York, Los Angeles, and Detroit. Fred was press secretary for Governor Milton Schapp and then becoming director of information for the State House of Representatives Majority Caucus and later press secretary for the Veterans Affairs Department. Please welcome him into the Broadcast Pioneers Hall of Fame. I, I must say, uh, a lot of these people are after, are, are after my time. It's been something like 35 years since I left uh, KYW. In fact, somebody asked me, isn't it kind of a surprise uh, that you're being honored so many years after you, you left the market? And then I started to think, you know, I was born in January 1928, right at the end of the silent movie era. Silent movie in the capital year before, um, so what's the big deal? Uh, I have to, uh, I don't want to keep us trying to thank all the people like Andrea uh, who carried me. I'm, Jerry here is, is, is one of them. Uh, you know who you are, family and friends, and I'm very grateful, and I thank the broadcast pioneers for this honor. Thank you. <laughs> 